Hey, what is going on YouTube? Mike here for Team VRY. And so yesterday, Google finally launched the latest version of its mobile operating system with Android 12. And we do have it up and running here on the Pixel 4a 5G. So there's a ton of new stuff to be found on this software update. But for this one, I want to highlight some of my personal favorite additions with this year's version of Android. Before we begin though, we do have a lot more Pixel content here in Team VRY. So if you want to check out those videos, I will drop some links in the description below. And we are soon going to have more content once the Pixel 6 makes its way here on the channel. With that said, let's get started. All right, so one of the biggest visual changes to Android's user interface comes in the form of Material U. Google has been frequently promoting this new design language and it brings a lot of changes to how visual elements look on the OS. Nearly everything has been redesigned with this update. For one, themes now have lighter shades of pastel colors, which are prominent on the home screen and the drop down menu. You can change your theme accents based on whatever wallpaper you've set up or choose from a handful of basic colors in the settings menu. You can also apply theme colors to some of the app icons on your phone, which makes customization more uniform. However, as of now, third-party apps have yet to be compatible with this feature. A lot of widgets have also been redesigned with new looks and animations. For example, the analog clock widget, which has been heavily featured in promotional material, has a lighter look to it. A lot of widgets also have a rounded edge look to be more in line with the overall design. Unfortunately, Google has removed the ability to change your status icons. Personally, it's not a big deal for me, but other users might miss this feature. We also get a bunch of new wallpapers in the Community Lens tab, which is a nice addition for variety. The lock screen also has seen some changes with a new clock widget that you can view when waking up your phone, as well as a new unlock animation. The power menu also has been redesigned along with the volume slider and they now both have larger design elements to their look. Toggles on the drop down menu now have larger visual elements and some have been altered for functionality, like the internet toggle. Instead of separate Wi-Fi and data toggles, it now combines these into one switch. Even tiny features like scrolling have been tweaked. There's now a more obvious stretch effect when scrolling up and down on the interface. Personally, I like it, but it's not going to be for everyone. Another prominent design change on Android 12 is the overall look of the settings menu. It has a more discreet and low-key profile look to it compared to Android 11, which featured multicolor accents in the menu. It almost reminds me of other OS designs like Windows Phone 8.1. And in dark mode, the Android 12 settings menu is wonderfully minimalist. Android 12 also gives us redesigned submenus, which feature revised visual designs and even added animations. For example, the battery usage set settings has been given some visual modifications, which do change its look from Android 11's battery menu. Android 12 also has the new game settings menu, which lets you access the game dashboard shortcut when gaming. This allows you to take screenshots or recordings of your game, as well as modify your notification settings while gaming. Unfortunately, there's still no option to force games into full screen mode, unlike on other Android versions like One UI and MIUI. A lot of games still have a black bar on the side, which frankly, I'd rather see go away. You can of course tweak the punch hole cutout and developer settings, but so far I've noticed that it does not work well on my device, and instead I ended up with two punch holes. There's also a new privacy dashboard in the settings menu that shows you what certain apps are accessing on your phone, like the microphone and camera. You can view the app which access your hardware and the specific time period in which it was used. This is a welcome feature and gives you more control over what functions apps can access. For example, there's a tiny animation on the upper right corner of the display that pops up when an app is using your camera. Alright, so one of the things I love the most about my Pixel 4a 5G is the fact that it has pretty good battery life. I get around 7 to 8 hours of screen on time on a single charge, and with the Android 12 update, it seems to be pretty consistent so far. Of course, this update is only a day old, and time will tell if it drastically improves or reduces the overall battery performance of this device. Okay, so this pretty much does it for our first impressions of Android 12 on the Pixel 4a 5G. Of course, there's more changes that Google has introduced under the hood, so I will continue to use the 4a 5G to see what those are. We do have a lot more Pixel content here on the channel, so feel free to check out the other videos here on Team VRY. Once again, thanks for watching.